embark on that journey to 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 try to understand what's happening in this crazy world in this specific circumstance with our musical okay i lost it <laughs> everybody <laughs> put your hands together oh yeah mic up pooling mic up cam up let's do it everybody put your hands together for today's guest tc Hey, hey, hey. What's yeah, up, what buddy? Up? Can, you, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can. Thank you for being patient. That went a longer than I thought it would. Thank you, Mighty Mighty, for no those problem. claps. I hope, uh, I hope, are you hearing yourself in my microphone or anything? I'm hearing, I'm, no, I'm, I'm hearing you great. Are you hearing okay, doubles great. and stuff? No, no, no. I just, I'm just always a little bit paranoid that, that there's somehow some other kind of, when you live in a world of cables and audio inputs and outputs, man, you, you become a little paranoid. You do. I, yeah. So, uh, I yeah. So, uh, a, a bunch of people died. It got, uh, it was so tragic. All right. TC pool, everybody. <laughs> I know. Go. I know. I Jesus was Christ, my guy. Let's go. It's okay. Hey, I'm so full of positivity. I'm going to bring this podcast right on up, baby. You can bring me into a pile of dead bodies, baby, and I'll DDT my way out of it. Let's go. <laughs> Next question. Next question. Let's get it going. Well, I mean, we, we don't have to stay on this. I, I know that was tragic and like that did suck. That was like the worst way to introduce do someone it's like yeah let's read this young woman's obituary now let's hey. ask this yeah. guy about hey. it <laughs> hey it's all right baby hey I've, I've i've been down in the bottom of the ninth before daddy and i've hit grand slams let's get it i'm ready well i don't know have you are you a fan of travis guy are you a fan of any of this type of stuff uh, I mean, Travis Scott's got a couple of good bangers. I don't really know anything about him. I don't know his uh, personal history or mm. anything like that. I just know it from the media in general. But yeah. people dying, of course, that fucking blows. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where else to go with that. I yeah, mean, that's fine. Hey, we we don't have just to bring my voice down like this, and then we can talk about death. And <laughs> Let's just, let's just yeah, let's just be sad for follow the rest of my the channel follow my channel <laughs> with, uh, great me i make great music this is just you know what i'm saying baby well i don't know what the fuck you want me to say about this shit jesus christ well uh, i i i do have to say though um we had a What's lot up? of we i i, I really see you by the way by the way by the way thank you for having me and hello to everybody hello chat I'm Pool or Pooley. You can call me Pooley or TC. Sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You're totally fine, man. I, uh, I, you know, I, I feel like I should apologize for for introducing you under such circumstances. Like that was like the worst. I could have done this first, and then did Silk Sonic and got everybody hype about Silk Sonic, and then be like, "Well, go talk to Bear." Okay. You know, anyway, I've, I've already turned it to gold, baby. We're it's already true. crushing that it's coal true. right down to a diamond, Daddy. You're goddamn you know what I'm right. You're goddamn right. A fucking uh, an Ozark diamond. An Ozark diamond. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, tell him about it. You can die, you can mine freely for uh, uh, diamonds in Arkansas. It's the only place in the world you can do that. Yeah, it's, I, I've had friends. I, I got a lot of hippie friends that's uh, gone into the Ozarks to go mining for diamonds. And uh, uh, I don't know. Have you done that yourself? Have you? Are you? No, into I, that kind I don't of stuff? think I ever did that as as a kid. I for, I'm for, I'm trying to think of the exact place's name. It's like Blanchard Springs Caverns. It's like a mm. cave system that's dope, and I think it's around that place, but. Mm. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's got a specific name, of course, but yeah, I never have. <laughs> no, it's cool, man. Like the, the yeah, the, the, I, I, it, was there like volcanic activity back then? Or is that what the Ozarks are? I, I'm just not sure what, why. Because I think the Ozarks are just two plates going like, yes, yeah, boom. And then, and then pushing themselves up. up into the sky. Gotcha. But I don't know what plates or anything like that. I know the, the, the fault line that goes through Arkansas is has a name and i don't know the fuck uh that, that fucking name either what is that name well oh, we're man. gonna find if that fall goes we're all fucked right here, here in arkansas. line in arkansas what is that thing called well, we'll find out the new Sin. madrid Sin. fault the new madrid. new madrid that's what it says here oh yes okay yes 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 it might be wrong it might be wrong we've always said new madrid but i I've, i'm oh. probably saying that with a terrible s southern accent yeah no well madrid is I don't need that new Madrid. <laughs> that you know new what I'm saying? Madrid. That motherfucker goes, we're all fucked. What, what is it about the that? Hogs, honey. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. 
Go ahead. Get Go ahead. Sorry. What about that fault? I, I've never heard that. Like, you know, like the San Andreas fault. You hear about that all the time, you know, under California. California is going to fall into the, the ocean. Auto. Uh, but but I've never heard like the the New Madrid fall. What 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 is it about the New Madrid fall? If it if it goes, we're all fucked. Well, me being a geologist, <laughs> the, the geologist that I am, and the doctor that I am. Thank you for inquiring. Uh, you see, heretofore that lies therein, thereof where be here there ergo. And that's neither here nor there. What are your thoughts? Go ahead. Um, I agree. I, I, I really do agree. Uh, the New Madrid Fault, also called the New Madrid Seismic Zone, is actually a series of faults or fractures at a weak spot in the Earth's crust called the Real Foot, Real Foot Rift. It lies deep in the Earth and cannot be seen from the surface. The fault line runs f roughly 150 miles from Arkansas to Missouri, and Illinois. Oh shit, Illinois too? Jesus. Okay, so that's really Dang. interesting that 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 there's a fault line that goes into the Midwest. Um cuz there was cuz there are earthquakes here in the Midwest and and apparently there was a uh, uh a inland hurricane last year in Iowa. Dang. <laughs> what what do you think about that, Dr. Poole? I'm trying to think. I was just thinking about you know what I was thinking about is my my cat the other <laughs> month, the, like a couple of weeks ago, dude had these fucking uh, like had this like they have anal glands that can yeah. like get inflamed and leak out of their butts and it stinks so, right like essentially and dude it smells like shit and you have to fucking <laughs> squeeze their butthole to like express it and that's why we, 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 as soon as you started rattling off states I really kind of checked out and started thinking about my cat's butthole. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I see. Like, <laughs> that that's interesting. So wait, so your cat is Sorry. currently right now. So are you are you are you are you milking the glands then? Are you are you doing it? <laughs> no, they done been milked, baby. Okay. I put them gloves on about two weeks ago and had to do the deed. How because often? I was not about to go. I was not about to go take my cat. Okay, I have three cats. Okay, Princess Jasmine. Yeah. Oh, okay. in question here, Prince Aladdin and Abu. <laughs> um, I was not about to go take my cat somewhere and pay 250 dollars that i don't have to have somebody else squeeze my cat's butthole i can do that all my all my own okay what, you what, just gotta grit your teeth and do what you do for the people that you love i agree um so <laughs> those ebx aaron cats is that ebx yeah uh the the um so like what's the process like do you, like how does your cat like handle that is, do they like that i don't imagine it likes that but what like up, chat I love, uh, hey, everybody that I can't see, I love you. Okay, so the process is you just get a pair of gloves and you essentially reverse headlock the cat, right? Yes. Ass out this way. Get that thumb and that forefinger, daddy, and you fucking, yay! And you just, hey, you grab on and then you, uh, you, you, you think about... You think about how good your life is. <laughs> Appreciative. <laughs> how Appreciate pri things. how privileged uh, how privileged you are to be able to do that for your cat. Go ahead. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. I know. You got to do what you got to do for. I mean, you know, I love these little cats. Yeah. Uh, are, are you? Uh, are you like? Uh, are is that your only roommates? Do you have other roommates other than your cats? Yeah. Here in the TC Falcon. The spaceship, mm -hmm. I, it's just me and these three cats and Scarlet, the computer AI. That's she it. might like go off buck wild in anything and just start like saying, Captain, out of nowhere. So and forgive me for that. I've tried to squelch her and mute her, but she is a Jezebel of a, a, of a, a computer AI. I see. But yeah, just me and these me and these cats. That that's fun. My crazy ass. The cat so ranch, cool. baby. Oh well, I I know that at the beginning here that when we everybody was seeing how uh your uh, we played some videos from your stream, uh everybody was like, oh shit, fucking, wow, what's going on here with these MIDI things and what's going on with what's happening? There's loops and there's saxophones and shit. What, what's happening? So um, I would love for you to uh, – to uh, I'm going to need a drink after hearing this. <laughs> Me too. Me too, Green Witch Craft. And I haven't drank in a while. So uh, <laughs> I'm getting jacked up on caffeine. I'm drinking so much caffeine right now. I rode my bike down to the coffee shop as usual uh -huh. um, and uh, did uh, some editing and shit like that because I put out a lot of videos on YouTube. In this year alone, I already have 250 
two YouTube videos up. Wow. And they're all songs and stuff like that. But anyway, I rode to the coffee shop, rolled my ass back home, and then uh, had a cup of coffee. And now I'm drinking some more caffeine. So let's get it. I'm ready. <laughs> I, well, we're already doing it, friend. We're we're already here. We're happy. That's right. Hey, it's happening. Top turnbuckle, baby. We're on the top turnbuckle, and I'm about to hurricanrana you right off the top. Let's go. Let's Next go. Next question. Knuckle deep, baby. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're great. This is so fun. So, so I mean, tell me about your 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 Jezebel computer and your setup, man. Like, I, I really, oh, yeah. like, you have something on your face. Like, I've never seen that before. Are you blowing into like, wait, I, this thing, yeah. Yeah, you blow into that or okay so uh yeah man, you this, you uh, you start and and we'll listen sure yeah 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 and please chime in uh with questions to help dir direct me always because I'm start this is a very intense deep and vast subject uh a lot of honestly kind of um frontier style of making music because it's hard I mean it's not like I can go and find a bunch of information about the stuff that I'm doing I kind of had to just invent it as I go oh, that's so amazing I uh thank you I do the the uh, the looping thing as you can see here maybe I have uh, well you can't see but it's right down here is a boss RC 505 yeah oh yeah 505 baby and um I run audio into that doing a bunch of different MIDI instruments. Now, uh, the thing that my, Mike was referencing chat was um, the one of the main things is the MIDI guitar thing that I use. So I don't use any kind of uh, plug in, you can get a specific kind of jack that's yeah. um, Oh man, I think there's I think Fishman makes one Roland. Yeah. Um, um, yes, yes, very good. Very good. Um, and I, I don't have any experience with those. But I've read about them and they seem to do do the trick mm. but uh i just do all software so my guitar is running into an audio interface which is then running into my audio pc which then runs out into the rc505 that runs out to you hey. to my streaming laptop and into you um there we go um so what um the software that i've made so what, what i did was i made this i wrote it out in oh you lua script language yeah. a script i'm a script kid you know how to do that stuff I'm... You're, you're trash kid you're trash <laughs> you script kid that's what they used to call they call, call us since counter-strike man the, 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 we weren't even cheating in counter-strike man you remember that shit de yeah. dust i had a friend i had a friend that was like yo dude you i was like dude okay let's go play dust let's go play dust and he would be like it's de underscore dust <laughs> anyway so the midi guitar for those that know what i'm talking about they know what i'm talking about um so the the midi guitar so what i did was i i um i take the the frequency of any one of these notes so anywhere you place your hand on a guitar and play a note is a frequency a frequency is just a vibrating body we measure it in vibrations per second so we then have a measurement called hertz okay so we can say that let's just say something's vibrating this string right here is vibrating at a hundred times a second so a hundred hertz um, I take that and then I get my computer to recognize that number and a threshold above and be, uh, below because your string's not always going to be perfectly in tune. Um, and then my software grabs a hold of that number and then assigns that to a, a virtual instrument that usually people play on a keyboard. Mm. Um, but I play it, uh, I use it on my guitar. So. Yeah, it's it's very it's very complicated, especially when it comes to expressivities. You know, you think, have to think about loudness and uh, the personality of the instrument. How do you mm -hmm. make a guitar sound like the nuances of a saxophone? Yeah, so. yeah, no, it, and we're already lost. GG. All right, take care, everybody. Hey, it's been good to see you. Thank you for coming by. Check me out on Instagram. Anywhere else you listen to? Okay, sorry. Go ahead. You're good. You're good, man. Um, yeah, the so weird, dude. It's so weird. Well, it is weird, but I I, I dig what you're I, I dig that uh, you, you the 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 inventiveness if that's a word uh, I love the inventiveness of what you're doing and and even like because uh, I, I really dig uh, I I was I was checking out your your vods and stuff and, and you got such a great mellow stream like you could just like put you on and just hang out it's fucking dope. Um, like, like, but it, it, uh, it, you know, you're also playing on your keyboard too. So like you have everything just sort of routed through the same patches and stuff or how does that work? 
Good. Okay. So, so uh, for those that know what a DAW is or a DAW, DAW. let's talk yeah. about that just for a second. Sure. Let's do so that. I don't want the people that don't know what the fuck we're talking about. A DAW, maybe if you do art, think about a DAW as being like Photoshop or Blender or uh, Pixlr or something like this. So anyway, but for audio. So the DAW that I use is Reaper. Yeah. I use it because it's free. free. That's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> oh, yes. Indeed. And I am po hey so don't let this scarf fool you this was 12 dollars off amazon this is not i didn't 12 dollars dude dead ass dead ass dead ass i didn't know 12 what that's too a much burberry scarf was Bur until i bought this and people were like is that burberry i was like i don't know i got it off amazon i don't know what you're talking about and then i went home and googled burberry i was like damn this is like people think this is like a fucking two thousand dollar scarf or some yeah. bull dumb bullshit like that anyway so i use reaper and um over here, um, can you see it on your screen? Yeah, okay, so all these colors, you see these wonderful colors of the rainbow, yeah. um, and all these names right here. These are tracks in Reaper, and on each track is a virtual instrument. I don't record anything on this. I simply arm and disarm. Yo, Canadian tuxedo, what's happening? <laughs> Thank you, Raina, for that sub. Hi, what? have fun driving. <laughs> Raina, I love Raina. Is she here? She she's my mod, uh, but she's driving, oh, so she's not okay. she's not in stream right now. She's in stream, okay. but she's driving. Keep your hands on the wheel if you can hear my voice. Don't <laughs> look at the screen. Don't text and drive. Don't, Don't look at me, Raider. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> um. So all these are instruments, and all I do is I click arm and disarm, mm. and they uh will will make sound and then mute themselves. Oh wait, let's see. Oh, I might have to restart it. I think I might have to restart it. But yes, so while I restart this, um, I don't record anything in this uh, version of Reaper, this instance of Reaper. Um, all I'm doing is uh, making my instruments live and then taking them down mm. or muting them. Yeah. Um, that all goes out to my boss rc505 right so the things that go into my audio pc are this m audio code 49 with this uh, little launch pad attached to it right and uh then my audio interface which has this microphone and my guitar into it hmm. everything goes into reaper and then from there is where all the the, the crazy shit happens yeah the the i mean your sound is incredible too like just like because you can definitely hear like your, your the, the stereo effects of all your stuff and like listening on headphones is great uh oh you're still in the parking lot you're fancy i see all right well do your thing right now uh <laughs> <laughs> uh but the but but um so so you have everything going uh it, it you're not recording anything on Reaper. And now do you have anything? So you, you're doing the second PC uh, thing because because there's a way to do it all internal where you're like internal routing. But that's a pain in the balls, which I hate. The, I, I don't like that at all. I, I used to do that. Yeah. When I first started, I didn't have <clears throat> this laptop. Did you use banana voice for, or whatever? Uh, say again? Banana voice or whatever voice banana. Man, voice I don't even know how I got it going, dude. It was the like the craziest. I didn't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I what I what I was doing. I still don't feel like I know what the hell I'm doing, but um I just I can get sound out. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It worked. <laughs> exactly. Um but uh yeah, so I don't yeah, I don't record or anything in a track into that. Whenever I record stuff, so all of my albums, mm -hmm. I record all of the tracks in one take. Mm. I don't like track out the drums and then do my vocals and then do my keys the traditional way. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's how everyone fucking does it. That's mm -hmm. the, the way to do it. Um, I'm just one person and with not a lot of time, so I have to try to figure out a, uh, a, clever, uh, a clever, quick way to record. Yeah. That's how I was able to produce 14 albums hey. in this year alone. Right. Which sounds like I'm lying. People, I mean, I say that no. number and people, I should probably just lie and say like six or something. That's way more believable. People right. just think I'm full of shit when I say that. But no, anyway, you so didn't. You didn't. <laughs> I record everything in one take. Mm -hmm. um, and usually I just open up an instance of Reaper in this streaming computer, or this laptop rather, and um, then uh, just record, or hit record and then perform the song. Mm -hmm. 
and then everything's all, all my instruments are already mastered and mixed so i don't have to spend any time in post like normally you'd have to oh shit so you literally will just lay it all down and then fucking ship it right and distribute it out to yeah. every one of my tracks is is alive is live that's crazy let, let i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up your band camp which is in the chat right now everybody so if you're interested I'll go check out the band camp and you can go buy some stuff and some albums yeah. uh, i'm just gonna my cats Get them fancy feast. There you go. Feed the cat. Well, let's just play yellow intro, yellow, a red into yellow live. This is just yeah. one take. Yeah. Nuts. So the drums are some uh, studio drums. They're really, really high quality samples. That's me on the guitar. I think the the keys you're hearing are a uh, A200. Um, that's like an old school kind of vintage, old like soft keys. Uh -huh. and the bass is um, a Rickenbacker bass. Okay. All muted. Ooh. Uh, oh, and that trumpet is me on the guitar. No, it's really interesting too because you you're phrasing like you were saying you were kind of you kind of touched on there it is there's the cat is that the Mr. Prince? So wait, is that is that the 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 ass gland squeezer? Not the booty, the poor the sore booty. No nope. sore booty. She, oh, she, she's sleeping right here. Oh, sore yeah, booty. Mm, sorry, sorry. Little but one. anyway, what, uh, uh, go on, go on. Phrasing. Yeah, well, like you you kind of hit on it, so because you got to sort of um kind of understand the phrasing of how trumpets work, how a saxophone is expressed. And you do it very well. Um, so so do you have any experience in playing trumpet or horns at all? Or is, are you, oh, yeah. Yeah. Good question. So I uh, in middle school and high school and then the two weeks that I went to college, I played <laughs> the trombone and bass trombone. So I okay. have a little experience there and just having grown up doing that and um, being a band nerd. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the one thing that I ran into when I first started playing different instruments through the guitar was that I, I it, it's my phrasing. You and you, you said the right word was didn't it didn't sound really good because I was playing it like a guitar. Yes, I had to start listening and studying uh, my favorite saxophone players solos mm -hmm. so i could kind of subconsciously adapt and consciously adapt i analytically went through and kind of dissected some phrases in solos to try to emulate uh one my favorite being maceo parker the saxophonist from uh, prince oh, oh my god he, or yeah yeah prince james brown he's yeah. worked with everybody yeah, like he's, he's yeah maceo parker's everywhere dude he's the he's the the king yeah he's um, amazing so let's see if this is going to make some sound now I don't know if it's going <laughs> we'll to. see if it makes sound <laughs> See. No, but um, yeah, and having studying those phrases mm -hmm. uh, really helped me understand how to change the way I play guitar when I'm playing it like a saxophone or yeah. this and that. So, so what is that thing that you put on your face? Is that just a microphone? Ah, okay, yeah. So this thing, this thing is, uh, this thing is is, is wild. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it is. A MIDI breath controller. Mm. So what we're doing here is um, it's it has a mouthpiece and it hangs around my neck like a saxophone. Forgive me for looking over here. I'm trying no to get this audio. Working. Um, yeah. But as a streamer, you know, we're we are just kings of multitasking. Yeah. So I feel like I could be solving a Rubik's Cube in my left hand as well right now. Um, Probably. So um, this MIDI breath controller, it's you you can blow through it. And then that is essentially a sensor. And that is going to let you control the volume of your instruments. Yeah. When you're playing something like a, um, a trumpet and you do not have a MIDI breath controller, the initial attack of your note will be that volume and then decay. Yeah. over time you can't ever do a crescendo and that's just a fancy italian word as i twist my mustache here for getting louder so a crescendo is just going thum, ah, ah. Right. imagine if i sung like that that'd be I'm, badass i i am already imagining i just saw it i wish i could sing like that if oh. i just put on a bunch of reverb and did that shit that... Yeah. Oh. yes there you go there no you, you gotta go. hit him with the vibrato you gotta be like oh, oh. 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 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There it is, everybody. Now You're you up. understand what's going on. So the <laughs> breath controller. Yes, you blow through it, and then you can control the volume. Not only does this thing have a breath controller, but it also has a bite sensor. So it's a pressure sensor on the mouthpiece, and I bite down, and it reads that. That can be programmed to any parameter mm. inside of a virtual instrument. So think about, um, I often assign that to growl. You know, when like when you hear a trumpet go, yeah. and it sounds all sassy and bluesy yeah. and like, uh, you know, Louisiana style. Mm. Um, I often do that to the, uh, to the uh, bite sensor. Now you could also do, let's say you don't uh, have any experience blowing through a, uh, blowing through an instrument. You could program that to be your vibrato. It also has a tilt sensor and oh, a nod what sensor. What the So fuck? that's four different sensors. I often tilt, uh, assign my tilt sensor to panning. So it will pan in real time as I tilt my head to the left, to our left head set or to our left side. And then my head to the right, to the right side. And then, wow. so you can really even get that much more of a 3D moving sound, right? Yes. Typically when you pan stuff, you pan and try to put and create a 3D space. But these instruments, oh, there we go, hey. are locked in, uh, are locked in. So maybe you have your your congas over here and your uh your horns over here and your keys center um but with this thing i can have those instruments essentially moving around in the headset so that's ah! that's nuts dude that's sorry nuts. It, dry, it's, it makes me crazy it just i feel Whoa. like a, like a mad scientist i'm gonna end up like nikola tesla like all just starved and like ah, the government. Are, are you gonna are you gonna marry your uh what did he marry he married like a, a pet or something right he married a bird or something jasmine <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna marry your cats. <laughs> oh God! Uh, I'm just gonna have like 20 cats, dude. Hold on. He married yeah, his cats. his daughter. No. What? Tesla never married, but admitted falling. That's in love Woody with Allen or whoever. <laughs> very. Oh, it's a pigeon. So he he fell in love with a very special white pigeon. Why is it gotta be white, Tesla? Why is it gotta be a white pigeon? Tesla. <laughs> What a punk. So yeah, uh, that those two combined now, and I've only had this breath controller like uh, a couple of weeks. Oh, um, really add to the possibilities and ex overall expressivity because that's the name of the game when you're doing buck wild shit like this is expressivity. Often people think of MIDI much like I did before I started doing this is like that like 1998 sound like coming out of your yes 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 thank you. Yeah. Yes, but with our ability to map expressivity, um, it, it's uh, it's it's crazy. And the people making these virtual instruments are insane. Um, yes. They're they're just so uh, just a uh, way above my my little script thing. I, my, I, all I did was just make it more. M the script that I wrote has made it more um, expressive uh, expressive when it comes to. Um, how many parameters you can control. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, sometimes I listen to myself talk while I'm talking and I'm like, dude, this fucking nerd, why don't you just shut the fuck up? This Jesus stuff is, is infinitely fascinating. I hope me. your chat's enjoying this, Mike, or, or at least you. I I'm I, I love I love you chat but I I'm sorry I don't care if you like this or not <laughs> this is really awesome for me I love you guys don't get me wrong I'm looking at chat because chat's right here for me so I'm like looking at them like I'm sorry chat I'm sorry oh. when I should be like I'm sorry chat if they're <laughs> flaming me just lie to me and tell me that they love me they're not they love you <laughs> uh, Bonnie called Tesla a racist so there you go. I restarted my audio PC and I'm loading back up Reaper. Oh, I got you. I got you. It was Reaper's awesome. I mean, hey, it ain't it ain't free for no reason, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey man, it's gonna crash every now and again. Reaper is dope, and 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 thank God for um that that ability to have free software like this, like for people who can't. But it's amazing. The llama they made Winamp. Did they? Yeah, it's the same people back from back in the day. Winamp. Whoa. Anybody that used to use that. That that. Um, that's the um that's the like video playing thing and you could change like into different uh formats and stuff Ooh, it probably does that back back in the day this was like an early 2000s thing mm. man i can remember playing the original diablo 2 doing some winamp stuff um and it was just an mp3 player ah I was okay like dave matthews band i got you i got you mp3 i see, live I see. In chicago 
It was just a player. I see what you say. And, and it was um, okay. Cool. Yeah, man. Like I, I'm, I'm really I, MP3 player, dude. <laughs> Whatever. Moving Dutchman. I don't know all this shit, bro. <laughs> I don't fucking uh, like. I, it's really interesting to me. Dude, that, the skins. Yes, bro. Yes, the skins. Um, yeah, I, 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 I uh, I'm not great with like computers and stuff. Like, wh what did you? I mean, is that is that like your day job? Do you write script? Or are you a engineer during the day and then like a musician at night? Or like what? No, How man. did you learn I'm this just, stuff? I'm a regular fucking idiot, dude. That just kind of stumbles around through life. And I happen to have a little talent. So I, like I said, hey, I dropped out too. of college, man. I was, um, I was lucky to be born with something called synesthesia uh, and perfect pitch. Synesthesia yes. is, a, is a disorder where you have your senses mixed up. Yeah. A lot of times people think it's only you hear something and you see a color. This is the most probably well-known form of synesthesia called chromesthesia. Uh, a streamer here on Twitch has it. He's a blind musician out of Australia named Claro Tungle. Um, he's, I, have a, I have a YouTube video with him. He's an amazing musician, but he has chromesthesia. My synesthesia has to do with touch, and so sound feels like a texture to me. Whoa. Um, so I, and that, uh, along with perfect pitch, um, made my coming up in music really easy i was bored right. because i was playing everything by ear i really slacked on theory and didn't give a shit about that because i was better than all my peers so what I, as a as a 16 year old why are you motivated to learn theory and spend time reading books i was wanting i was wanting to watch piccolo and goku fight and then i would go into the bathroom and try to turn super saiyan shout out to anybody that's tried to turn super saiyan irl i love you and respect you for it <laughs> And, and yeah, then yeah, take yeah, like yeah, yeah. four episodes to charge up. Yeah, hell yeah. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I, um, w what I do is I teach at a private music school during the day. Oh, right. Um, and um, and then I just stream uh, full time. Uh, I stream an abnormal amount. Uh, I started streaming maybe a year and two months ago, and um, when I first started, uh, people, one of the uh, advice I was given was uh, consistency. Set a streaming schedule. So. I'm, I have a very buck wild personality. So I said, okay, motherfucker, I'm going to stream every day. How's that for consistency? And so I made it to 270 before I got hacked and one, I couldn't boot up a PC, uh. but, uh, uh, 270 in a row. But so over the last 450 nights, I've streamed for 420 something. Jesus. So that's, that's a lot of streaming and sitting here holding a guitar and making music. Uh, yeah. Again, that's how I was pretty able to produce so many albums. Um, and uh, that helps me pay my bills. And living in, in a small town in Arkansas, rent's not high. And I live like a caveman eating rice and grass. I go and graze some time the, in the pastures with the cattle. <laughs> and um, it's very scenic, you know, on certain d days here in the, in the fall. Yeah, uh, here in the Ozarks. Oh, dude, it's beautiful down there. Um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I, I like the South. I I, I love Texas. You know, Texarkana. That just I used to live in Dallas, man. Down, oh yeah. man, man, Texas is awesome, man. I fucking love Texas. It's uh, uh, what do you do to protect yourself from being hacked? Green Witch wants to know. Me now? Yes. Don't I, go on Omegle. Yeah, stay off of Pornhub. Green Witch. I used to go so so what I would do when I first started streaming in order to reach more people is on an on like a different window and the audio and video not routed in because you can't stream Omegle on Twitch you'll get banned instantly mm. um uh and but I would then talk to people on Omegle while I was making music and then these people would like you know DDoS me and get my IP and then this shit but but now That's I just awesome. keep seven I, I run seven VPNs S seven Yes. You run seven VPN? I have my one lowly VPN. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you need seven? Is there more VPNs the better? Is that the is that how we go? I yes. Think? Really? Yes. Because people can see them, mm -hmm. so they're going to get a one in seven chance. Gotcha. If they want to do shit. But anyway, that was a rare instance, and I, I spent so much time on the internet. That, that kind of shit's going to happen. Like, you're going to run into, like, you know, trolls, even trolls in your Twitch chat. I had a mod completely... Uh, well, my first mod ever helped me set up my Discord a little bit. Uh, said that she said that she was a a girl from Russia, and turned out that she was using all these fake information. Uh, we reversed image, image searched her, and it was all just like Google, <laughs> like images of 
like of some Russian chick, dude. And and she went buck wild, like racist in my chat one night, and I had to ban her. And she was like, "Russia is better than USA," and all this other like even more buck wild shit that I can't say. And so I had to instantly ban. And so yeah, so hey, when you spend a lot of time on the internet, should shit. Uh oh, oh, got mad. <laughs> Uh, Carter Gina, have yourself a good lurk. Thank you for the host, my friend. Uh, all right, so we might have lost. Yo, oh, he's still there. Me? I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm getting hacked right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> how crazy is this shit? All right, I'm coming back. All right. I don't know what happened. OBS just shit itself. Yeah. Dude. It's all right. See, okay. you see why I run seven VPNs, my guy. You understand? <laughs> this is the kind of shit that makes me paranoid, man. Thank Look, I got my audio PC giving me shit, dude. This Thank is, you for that host, terrible. Green Witch. Look at me. I'm a blue screen. Hey, blue Coming screen back. blues. All right. So anyway, what were we talking about? The OBS shutdown just totally th threw me off. What uh, was I ranting about? It, it, uh... <sighs> Uh, let me see. Maybe the chat will help. Uh, oh, we're to protecting ourselves from being hacked. Oh yeah, um, yeah. We're talking about VPNs and shit. But yeah. anyway, yeah. Don't spit. Don't go to Omegle. You get hacked. Wait, what but is anyway, Omegle, anyways? It's a random video chat site where you just click a button and you're chatting with something somebody random. On oh, Instagram. what was that one site? You remember that one site that was like Chat that? Roulette? Yes, Chat Roulette. It was always the, that was the original one, man. Right. Don't go. Don't, don't go there. It's all dudes' dicks and stuff. It's just nothing <laughs> but dicks, bro. Nothing but beans, man. <laughs> Hey, there he is. Don't look at him, y'all. Look at me. I'm beautiful. Look at my mustache. God damn. Look, don't look at their peens. Look at look at Pooley's yeah. peens. Look at the stash. Yeah, look at the stash. Right. Look at the stash. Uh <laughs> yeah, so I stream a lot. Um Yeah, I mean, like the I think the last stream, it was like nine hours stream. Yeah, I'm I'm fortunate to be in a in an area of my life in a time of my life where I have a lot of time. Yeah. Some people have to work, you know, 40, Kids, 50 hour job uh work weeks. Yeah. I don't teach full time. I when we teach maybe my total classes that I teach are hours or I don't know, like 20 hours a week, 25 what, hours. A what week. do you teach? Uh, mostly guitar, but also piano, ukulele, bass, uh, mandolin, uh, uh, voice. And I can't remember. I are you, uh, are you thing. able to do you, so then are you able to teach theory or is that not your approach? Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. You have to teach theory, man. Mm -hmm. Think about it. The people that come to me and take classes are not like me. I'm not right. going to be teaching really, really talented people. Right. Um, and some people don't like to, to, to admit that, but I mean, that, that's what it is. Like, well, beginners I, are a beginner. beginner. Yeah. I, I have no af natural affinity for plumbing. So I'd have to take my non plumbing talented ass to a plumbing school to learn about that shit. Right. But I, I was thrown a gift from the heavens above and um, I, I didn't have to go and take classes for anything. But yeah, so uh, the, the theory you have to, which because that's the language, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, people that play people that just play guitar by ear. I tell them that that's like being in a hallway with a bunch of doors mm -hmm. and the lights are off and you have a flashlight. Now you can make your way around and find different rooms to go into, mm. but the person that knows theory has a light switch that turns the lights on and they yep. see all the doors right. and all the choices right. to make. Absolutely. The more rules you learn, the more free you become in, in music, the more choices <laughs> you're able to make. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, that was one thing that I've always heard from a lot of different musicians is, uh, is like learn all the rules so you can break them. Um, come over to take lessons, TC. Um, I, it, Raina teaches all exclusively online uh, through takelessons.com, which is which I'm going to be teaching on there too. I'm going to be teaching podcasting and streaming stuff. So uh, that will be going on soon, actually. But yeah, it's actually a really cool uh, website. Right. Um, DM me about that. Sure. I mean, it's takelessons.com. You can do live. What's cool about it is that you can set up live uh live classrooms so you could teach several people and you get taught per student per minute so like the more people are in there the more you get paid it's a really cool system they just set up so that's take lessons live and you can also get private student lessons as well so um it, it, it it's expanded and just got bought out by microsoft as well um bonnie wants to know if you actually know the duggers and i don't know what that means oh uh the duggers are like a family with like a uh, a buttload of kids. Those are those people that don't have any hobbies and just fuck all day and then produce babies, man. Those people, they, they, those are the motherfuckers that need to take lessons. Let me tell you something right now, chat, okay? They need to call your boy up and get, get enrolled. All they do is just sit around and just bump up against each other, butt naked, man. That's what those people do. And they had a show or something like that. I, I don't know them, though. The no, Christian chat, Post. Uh, wow. Do they have the right people? 
Uh, yeah, you do. You do. There's 19 of them. There's 19 of them sons of bitches. Uh, they do it for Jesus. Yeah, they fuck for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't, ab- I ain't about it. I ain't about it. I ain't ab- it works. Is this sound okay? Hold on. Let's see if this works. Sure. Yeah. That's, I oh, heard that. There we go. We heard right, that. Nice. Good. Cool. That's dope. That was a violin. The, but that's anyway, so the sound's working. Yes. I'm not hacked anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Russian hackers. Praise the Duggars. Um, yeah. The, the, <laughs> the, the, so when you're um, w- with your mouthpiece on, so you're blowing and, and you're actually like blowing and controlling a certain parameter to yeah. like, like, you're, uh, like you're blowing into a, an, a, like a horn or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This allows me to, to do uh, something like a swell. Yes, so let's compare right. the two real quick. Sure, yeah. Here's how I used to play. Up until a couple of weeks ago, this is what it would used to sound like. Right? Sounds good. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a saxophone. Or how about... Thank you, buddy, buddy. So, but those notes don't swell and there's not as much emotion so here's the trumpet with a bit uh a breath controller wow yeah you see how you can control the emotion so much more yeah yes Yes, that, that I mean, it makes, makes the instrument totally come alive. It, it, it's night and day, man. It's fucking night mm, and day. Yeah. That is absolutely n- crazy. Wild. So wait, so that so you can just pair that up with any instrument that that blowy thingy. Yeah, and it doesn't even have to you. The the computer doesn't realize it's an air sensor. Mm-hmm. It's just a sensor. Right. So you could control you could do your breath pressure to program to anything. That is a programmable, programmable parameter. Prince, get out the way. A programmable parameter in a virtual instrument. And I'm still in the process of trying to be creative and figure out what to do with it. Um, one thing I'm doing is, again, the, the panning thing. So mm. I do it with these drums here. Let's see. So I can... See how it's going around in our headphones there? No, unfortunately, it does. It fucking uh, the the zoom is garbage, so it, oh, there is no there's okay, no okay. stereo well, quality. And I'm sorry, man. No, it's all right. You, uh, your chat will just have to imagine this. Well, yeah. Pain. What you need to do is go and fucking come and and hang out at a TC Pool uh, stream. Uh, can right. we can we get a shout out for TC Pool again? Uh, Streaming every night. George Michael still appreciate this. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I'm uh, streaming tonight. Yeah, TC Pool's going to be streaming tonight, so you can go and check it out for yourself. Thank you, Bonbon. Bon. That's uh, right. Um, okay, so we have a Would You Rather from uh, Jesse, who uh, thank you very much for using your points, your fresh bars. And anybody who's not familiar, if you have a question for a TC Pool, uh, please use your fresh bars. It helps me keep track of questions and stuff. I, I mean, things aren't going too crazy right now, so you could probably just drop in the chat. But sometimes we're talking. Anyways. It helps with the fresh bars. Anyways, let's get to Would You Rather, the filthy edition. Um, There you go. You know what's interesting is that these filthy editions, um, either people are cool with it or they're kind of off put by it. They're like, oh, God. Or or like you, you're just sitting there like waiting for the question. (laughs) Um, When sometimes I have people on and they're just like, oh, Lord, it's the filthy edition. I I don't know why this gets people. It's it's weird to me that... um, in this day and age, we still have these weird sex shame things. You know what I mean? Anyways. Huh? Yeah. What, se- what are you talking about? Sex shame thing? Yeah. Ain't no shame in my game, baby. That's right, baby. You, t- every 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 picture of you on Instagram is with your shirt off, rightfully so. Uh, hey, hey, I'm trying to <laughs> flaunt it like I got it. You know, bro, you got, got it, it, son. You got it. All right. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Uh, let's ask this question. So, um... 
Uh, oh God. Okay, this isn't for you, I suppose. Um, <laughs> hold on. Okay, this is, seems to be more for bleeding people. Um, okay. Um, be, uh, okay. Okay. I, I don't what these are stupid. I'm not asking asking these. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here's a good one. Would you rather beat up Floyd Mayweather or Justin Bieber? Chat, you can get in this too. Uh, uh, Justin. I mean, it's that's easy, man. I Justin know. Why, like everybody knows. Oh, Lloyd Mayweather would beat all of our asses. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't even get one punch on him. It would just be a horrible slaying. Um, there was already a discussion about squeezing anuses, so I think anything goes. Yeah, I suppose you're right. <laughs> <laughs> They're usually more weird and than filthy, I'd say. I, I agree, I agree. I was scientific. Yes, that was very scientific. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is just science, really, when you think about fighting Floyd Wayweather, Way Mayweather, uh, compared to Justin Bieber. It, it just it's science. It's like you, I know I could tee off on Biebs, but uh, <laughs> I don't think uh, money, uh, money Floyd Weather or whatever is gonna. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere with him. Anyways, <laughs> well, you you know, like you uh you you seem to be a very healthy person. Are you a vegan? Like, cause you kind of like I, I live off rice and 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 uh and grass. So I'm just curious, is is that your thing? Yeah, but I mean, I um I, I've done a lot of different trendy diets over the years, you mm -hmm. know, and right now at the ripe age of 107.5, I've found that if I, me personally, mm. I uh, try to stay away from meat because I just feel a little bit better yeah. and my stomach doesn't hurt. And it's like, you know, my shits are good. You know, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta have good bowel movements. Absolutely. Okay? This Absolutely. is another thing people don't want to talk about. No, people don't like, want to talk about their aching ass when they go in the, in the, in the, in the, in the commode and they're trying not to moan in pain yeah. because your diet's so fucked up. Okay. Right. Pay attention to your body. Yeah, I agree with you. With bowel so movements. So, yeah, um, and I try to stay away from factory farming, but I'm not religious about it, and I'm not judgmental about it. I don't have any – my life is too hard, and I have no time to judge anybody else, man. I, I don't know how people uh, spend all this time hating everybody for everything else, man. How is your life so easy that you have time to hate somebody over whether they want pineapple on their pizza or not? You know, people are all – people ask me, easy. pineapple on your pizza I have plenty or not, time for this. <laughs> And I'm like, I don't give a shit. I, my life is hard. I'm trying to pay rent next month. I'm trying to feed my body, okay? I'm trying to feed this nubile, supple body that you're seeing on Woo! Instagram. Thank you very much. Let's go. <laughs> All right. No, the, 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 Did that answer your question? Well, yeah, I, I'm just, you know, like, what, what's your routine? I, I'm, I'm, you know, like, over the pandemic, I, I, I've always been, well, not, that was a dumb thing to say. Uh, I've always been fat in my whole life. Like, as a kid, I was like 350 like 20 pounds in high school um but i moved to california and then i got skinny or, or i'm sorry i got i lost the weight and i got down to a healthy weight and then when i moved back to ohio you know i was able to keep the weight off i exercise regularly but during the pandemic whoo it was all over i'm on this fucking medication that makes me all fat as fuck and now i'm like desperately clinging on to like fucking like working out and trying not to take in too many calories i'm just as a fat kid, getting fat again is like is is a nightmare that I just I hate living in, and that's what's happening, and that's what's happening to me, and and, and then that's fine. But but what 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 do you do? Like uh, what what's your routine like? What are you uh, are you, uh please tell me what what's your routine like when you're working out? All right, so yeah, um, well, first of all, great question. Second of all. I highly encourage people to not do what I do because I do a lot of extreme stuff and I throw caution to the wind. And I, like I said, I live a buck wild lifestyle. So I take chances and I do not encourage anybody to, I don't have a, I don't have a teaching degree in, uh, in, uh, in, in exercise or anything yeah. like this. So what I do is I, um, okay, okay. I'll just be brutally honest, please. Um, one, you have to have gone through some of the storms of life. That shit will motivate you. Yeah. That uh, a hard life will uh, will make a hard person. Yeah. Um, you have to, you know, kind of re, kind of readjust how you define pain and understand pain, and and realize the virtues that that lie therein. 
I am also very vain. I want to look good, buck naked. I like to sleep with beautiful women. Hey. So that is going to, that uh, having a great body is going to make me more successful in that endeavor. And I'm being brutally honest. Okay. Please. So, um, so I'm vain. I don't, I, I don't want to look in the, I, I can remember being skinny, man. I didn't start working out until I was 25. And um, I can remember, you know, trying to get girls and they, and they'd be like, you're too skinny. Or they just like, you know, they, they'd say, they'd say all this mean shit about me being skinny and, and that's okay. They're free. They, and I'm not, it, it was, it was a wake up call to me. They're free to like whoever they want to like, mm. you know, they, they, uh, uh, a lot of people think, man, well, th those girls were so rude. Those, those women were so rude, right? It's like, no, no, no. They can have a taste just like I can have a taste, you know? Right. So um, anyway, that, that's, that's motivating pain is motivating and doing it all the time the routine these days man is i just do a lot of uh uh comp heavy compound lifts i do a lot of deadlifts mm. squats and bench and i ride a bike i got a bike last march and i haven't put f fuel in my car since then man i've ridden it literally every day i like going i like doing streaks right mm. in 2019 I used to run in 2019. I did, uh, or I tried to, I set this random goal. I wanted to do two, 2019 miles in that year oh, nice. that averages out to a 10 K every day with Jesus. no days off, uh, which is six miles. Right. Um, so you could earn a day off though. If right. you ran like you 12 know, miles, 12 miles, you could earn a day off or, you know, just seven miles over the course of six days and, mm -hmm. so, and so on and so forth. Oh, but, yes. um, I, I didn't do it. I made it until like November or something like that, but I still ran way more than I ever thought I could. It was one of the hardest things ever. The next year I ran my first 50 K, uh, which is 30 miles, uh, leading up to that. I did a marathon for three weeks or three weekends consecutively up to the 50 K. So I just like doing buck wild shit. <laughs> Don't do this stuff, man. It's crazy. You got to be sick in the head, dude. <sighs> I think I think you're right. I think you're right on some aspect because um, the beautiful thing about you know challenging yourself in that aspect is like you are pushing some boundaries that are that can actually hurt you. But it, it, but after you're done and after you've pushed those boundaries, you've 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 unlocked. It's like you've unlocked another level in your own your own mindset and your body. It's like I don't know. You level up on some aspect of life. Um, but, but I do think that you do have to have some sort of mental, uh, thing because, because yeah, that got demons, man, I got pain. demons chasing no, me, man. I got to run away from them, dude. I, I agree with you because the thing is about human beings is that we've gotten so stagnant in our lives and we're meant to fucking be out there like hunting and, and gathering and shit. So our bodies are still programmed for that. And, and so all we're doing is sitting around stagnant, getting chubby and getting sloppy and, and I'm, I'm sloppy as fuck. I was 200 pounds at the beginning of the pandemic. I'm 250 pounds right now, folks. I'm not proud, and I'm working very hard to not be that anymore. I'm just saying. Uh, but but it's like, you know, like to 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 to, to sit there and, and and your body stagnates and, and you have all this extra energy that you should be burning off and, and it causes all this anxiety, it causes depression, uh, it's hard to tie your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring on yeah. some VR like in Ready Player One. I I'm with you. I'm with you. But but still, you know what what's gonna happen to the people who are just you know in VR? They were gonna turn into we're gonna it's gonna turn into Wally. Uh, I don't know. Wally. If you know. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, dude. Yeah, uh, it's gonna that's that's what it's gonna be. And, and, and you know, today I I was talking to somebody. Um, and it, we were talking about you know being overweight and if that's healthy or not. And and they're and I was like, well, it's very unhealthy. You know, the, the data's in, you know, like the, there's no question that being unhealthy, healthy, having extra body fat, it leads to cardiovascular problems. It leads to cancer. It leads to diabetes. My whole family is riddled with diabetes. I have a bunch of fat Mexicans who all they do is eat hot pork and tamales all the time. And they all have fucking diabetes. So it, 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 the data's in. The data's in. But where she's coming from was that, you know, there's this idea these days that, you know, if you're if you're overweight, that we shouldn't be hard on people who are overweight and we shouldn't be talking shit to them or, or making fun of fat people or or, or fat shaming, basically. And, and she was just trying to be nice and like not trying to say. But I, I don't think that that's the right move because all we have is a bunch of unhealthy people getting diabetes, getting cancer. And it, it bogs down a health care system. And, uh, you know, right now the ER is full of people who are overweight 
and have you know these different uh, these precondition a uh, pre uh, pre what is it called? They they just you know they're diabetic they they're overweight and they're dying of COVID and that's what these comorbidities is one of the biggest reasons why people are dying of COVID right now and so to me I don't see why our government isn't telling people to get healthy now this is shit that people a lot of people are saying this right now you know Joe Rogan's saying this type of stuff there's uh, all kinds of Tim Ferriss is saying this kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's not anything new. I'm not being fucking original here, but as someone who's worked really hard to lose 325 pounds and get down to a healthy weight for a six one, you know, six foot one fucking wide framed dude. Um, I know, you know, I know the struggle and I know what it's like now to take it to the point where you're like, you're, you're getting so ripped and you're fucking, I don't have that in me. I should. But but what what you were saying is that it does take a certain kind of mentality to to get to that point. I just wanted to fit in nice clothes, not sweat every time I go up the fucking stairs, and fucking feel good. You know, uh, that's all yeah, I care yeah. about. That's why I always talk about it in the first person. Like, I, and I I never ever talk to people about fitness mm -hmm. ever because I don't know what's good for their body. I have no idea you know, what they've been through, you know, or like life can be a motherfucker sometimes. We never know where people are coming from. And quite frankly, I I had to focus on me. I ain't got a time to care about all you motherfuckers and whether y'all are fat or not. Right. And I, I don't either. And, and, and here's a really, uh, uh, I think, an important distinction. I think the statement, you are fat and that's bad or unhealthy, mm -hmm. is a different statement than it is bad to be fat because it's unhealthy mm -hmm. i think one talks to the person and wasn't one is a statement about uh just biological facts if mm -hmm. this if the those biologists whoever the fuck those do that shit uh are right so i think those are two different things but at the end of the day your boy ain't got time i'm up in the tc falcon flying through space making dope ass music doing ddt's and her karanas off the top turnbuckle let's go <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I am interested as someone who is fucking, who is very fit is like, do you, do you, uh, I it comes from mental health. My, the the, the so more too. in shape I am, the more I'm hurting on the inside. <laughs> I see. I see. No, no. And, and, and I, I feel that because uh, again, like, I, I feel like a lot of my exercise is coming, is turned into sort of a psychopathy because it's something that I, now I have to do or else I'm not going to, um, my, my, my attitude's going to be fucked up. My, I'm prone to depression. I'll be more prone to go into a depressive state. Uh, you know, like I have all these different fucked up mental issues that if I don't address these by by physically, then it's going to come out in a in a in a negative way. You know, mentally and, and, and verbally in, in mm, some mm. aspects. I don't. So, but for you, it's different. It's like I work because I am fucked up and i need it like this is just what i need is, is it like if you're missing workouts do you d does that bother you does that change does that have an effect on your on your in your mindset yeah 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 i mean if i um if um but I, right now and for years i've done something very very i've been very very consistent it's just like i i don't i don't even think about it anymore so it's just something that is the is an identity to me right mm -hmm. the the, the, the whole flip switch thing. So, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it, I, I do it for a myriad of reasons, right? Like I was saying earlier about the vanity, um, uh, but also, you know, to make me feel like I've done something, make me feel like I'm running for my friends that have died, that have those that have gone before me, man. I had a mentor die of, of leukemia. I had a friend, uh, you know, friends kill themselves and, you know, just, uh, I've had students die on, under me. Mm -hmm. Um, and, you know, and, and we've all lost people. So I really just use the focus of my mind and behold what's mo what's motivating me. If, if it's those dead people, then I'm thinking of that intensely. If it's the if it's the girl I couldn't get back in the day, then I'm thinking of that. If it's the motherfucker that said my music is shit and I should just stop, then I'm thinking of that motherfucker. I'm thinking of the people that passed up on me. I'm thinking about the musicians that canceled on me last minute that didn't want to work with me. I'm, I'm thinking like, oh, you motherfuckers are going to be sorry because I'm going to be the crazy motherfucker out there running in the cold that's going to come back and make 14 albums in the year. Let's go. I'm hyped now, baby. <laughs> see what I'm doing, but you see what I'm doing, chat. You see what I'm doing. You have to run this through yeah. in your. You have to get. You. I mean, I say you, but this is where I sound preachy, and I don't like to talk about what works for other people because other people might just need to be like, I'm gonna go 
run 10 miles today mm -hmm. and be just jolly fucks running down the road. I don't know. I'm a, when I'm out there, I'm an angry motherfucker. <laughs> like I have a lot of, I'll have a lot of fuck you in me, yeah. you know? Yeah, I feel you, man. I, I'm 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 right there with you, man. Like when I'm in the intent, most intense part of a workout, especially in cardio, I'm not thinking of like happy rainbows and shit. I'm thinking of fucking. <laughs> I'm just thinking like fucking. It, it's yeah. fucking violence. It, it's crazy. It's a violent act to move your body in such a, a you know like till you're you're aspirating. Is that the right word? I don't think that's the right word. Until you're fucking out of breath and your heart is beating crazily. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying, Calico Cat. So like the VR. It, you you work you work out while you're playing video games and stuff. I see what you're saying. Yeah, look, I got a sit down job too. It's like the, we got to find ways to keep our body. Well, I, I you know I I know Pooley here is not trying to preach to anybody, but I do encourage people to go out and try to be their healthiest self. I I I think it's important. I really do. I, I think that the world is suffering some from so much anxiety and mental health that could be avoided if we did fucking exert some of this energy. So I, I get what you're saying, and and I, I, I and I and I and I totally uh, feel that. You know, you keep your thing to yourself. You're not like trying to tell anybody to do anything or shame anybody for being who they are. Me neither. But I think that we all can agree that we can always be a little better, right? Mm, mm, mm. And I, yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. And and, and I like I, I I don't go around and preach it, but I I mean I'll share what I do personally and what's done for me. I just I'm I. I'm hesitant about telling others any or giving advice because right. me personally, I hate unsolicited advice. And I think back to all the gym bros that used to come up to me and be like, yo, bro, if you hold the bar this way, dude, and if you just tilt your arm at a 45 degree angle, bro, that's really going to get you a sip pump. All right, bro. You want some creatine? All right. Slap my ass. Let's go. It's like, dude, shut the and, and I don't ever want to be that guy to anybody, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. No, I, I that's feel that. I just. But I'm, yeah, I'm with you though. I'm with you, Mike. Yeah, I feel that. I, anybody I, that's needing motivation, get your ass out there. Uh, it's I'll true. motivate you. I'll yeah. give you a pep talk. Exactly, and, and that's the thing. It's like I, I I'm not, I, dude. I get what it like. That's the thing. It's like I get what it's like to be fat. I get what it's like to be overweight. I get what it's like to be uncomfortable in my own skin. I get what it's like to to have a hard time fucking tying your shoe. I know what it's like to fucking have a hard time getting in and out of small vehicles. I know how hard it is to find fucking clothes that fit you that you feel comfortable in. And and that shit all takes a toll. It's like when you see people like Lizzo. And and I, you know, again, I'm not trying to body shame anybody, but but it is not healthy to be that way. And and I, I'm not sure if she is happy. Like she says, she's happy, and and I I, I love that she loves herself and she's teaching self love. But when you look in those comments, you see a lot of people feeling the same way, kind of I do. It's like you're telling people to be it's okay to be overweight and unhealthy, and I don't really think that's the message that should be out there. But hey, who am I? I'm just some fat guy in Ohio, right? I, uh, I I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad about themselves, but we Yo, we need to do better. Let's talk about fit shaming, okay? Coming let, as a member of the fit community, let me excuse me, excuse me, thank you, excuse me, thank you, thank you, excuse me, thank you, excuse me. I, <laughs> uh, it's fit shaming, okay? So everybody, when you see somebody fit and it's hot in summertime and they take off their shirt, they're not doing it to impress you. Mm -mm. Maybe we're just hot and this is the way our bodies look naturally. I'm sorry that makes you feel uncomfortable that I have an impeccable peck, okay? And my they pop and I can flex them, okay? The delts, the traps, look at the quads, quadzilla, 28 inch pythons, let's go. 1998, false count anywhere, hurricanrana, hell in a cell, let's go. Now, that's right, so brother. When I'm, out and about, when I'm out and about on my bike in nothing but bike shorts, sneakers and a good attitude i got sweat glistening down my body please don't think i'm just trying to impress everybody don't fit shame me don't be like Ugh. no one wants to see that i've had people say that to me dead ass yeah. dead ass and i'm like am i living in upside down world like what the fuck i'm fit and being made fun of yeah this is fuck what well, well like look what happened to adele like she like i she don't know you tell me she can't so I live on a planet, man. I live in the skies, bro. I no worries, Ziggy. Uh, Adele, are you, are you do you know who Adele is? Are, are you familiar with Adele? Someone like you, who? yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, were you aware that she was a portly woman? Uh, 
Yes, she, she seemed, her face seemed round. Yes, okay. Uh, so recently, she lost a bunch of weight over the pandemic, and All right. people got pissed at her for losing weight. Fit shaming. I'm telling you. Yes. Yeah. See, yes. I did not know that, but yes, that's exactly yes. what the fuck's happening. Dead ass. I'm not. I'm not trying to shit you. I, I don't. I, I'm. I live a hermit lifestyle. So mm -hmm. Adele losing weight. Cool. Who gives a fuck? I but, understand. But uh, but I'm saying like. <laughs> but she, I'm not, not 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 saying. I'm saying like. Not that that was not an interesting thing to say, Mike. I'm not. Trying, <laughs> that's totally that cool. That's very insulting there. But I'm saying it's all good. Man. Um, good for her. But the people that care and and hate the people that are hating the people that hate the people, man, just stop all that hate for anything. Just stop I hating agree. that she got skinny, man. I yes. Agree. Yeah. Rebel and me when I'm on my bike with my cheeks out there, pumping up and down the up, up and down the mean streets of Arkansas. Oh shit. Rebel, Rebel Wilson. Damn. She was good looking before she lost weight. Let's go Rebel. Get it girl. I like, I like thick girls though. I'm, I'm, I'm I had no girl. idea you were you were so overweight at one point. I was I've never been overweight. I was underweight. I was malnourished. Really? You like? Did you grow up poor? Is that what happened? Um, I had a of a, a hyperactive thyroid and really, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I was poor, but not like going to sleep hungry poor. Oh, but I, I, I was, was poor. Fucking, I grew up poor, but I had plenty of shitty food to eat. <laughs> Grew up, grew up depressed and not eating, so I would just forget ah. to eat and then be like, man, why do I feel like shit? It's 10 p.m. And I'd be like, oh, wait, I'm 130 pounds. And uh, underweight. Well, no, but, but, that's, <laughs> but you know what? That was another thing that came up, too, during this conversation I had with this person earlier was that, you know, skinny people, just because they're skinny doesn't mean that they're healthy. Because there's oh, plenty no, of skinny yeah. people who are smoking fucking cigarettes, drinking Mountain Dew, and fucking hitting up McDonald's at 2 in the morning, mm -hmm. fucking living the best life. And they just stay skinny forever, but they're but they're gonna die of a heart attack or whatever. It, but it, it, I mean, the thing is, is that all sizes and all shapes there's 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 a there is a um, what do you call it? a spectrum? And some people can be a little bigger and and still be healthy. Some people could be skinnier and still be healthy. Um, but I think when you get into these extremes like obesity and stuff, because right now I'm technically obese, uh, like I'm 250 pounds. That's obese for a, a dude my size. So, um, you know, this is not healthy. I don't like it. Um, but it, it, you know, it, it's just shit. Those, those, those fucking, uh, those mints are kicking in everybody. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot oh, about those until I just forgot what I was talking about. Anyway. Go on. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyways, there's Rebel. She's looking great. Good for her. Like, that's the thing. I, it just, I could never understand. I, I, can't, I can't understand how people would be mad at somebody for, you know, trying to better themselves. And, and, and Because I, they're not mad at them. They're mad at themselves. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I think that's, I think that's what we're getting at here is that. People see like what's interesting about social media is that you sort of people are sort of uh, putting out on reflection of what they don't like about themselves. And it, it, it more I feel like it's more of that than it is of, you know, actually like bringing someone down or, or calling someone out. I feel like it's more like something that they're calling out within themselves that they don't like. And, uh, you know, that, that I don't think that that equates correctly especially when you're talking about people who like lose their entire careers over something because a bunch of people on facebook got mad mm. uh anyways yeah uh, we have to love people where they are in the journey of the human experience i exactly I, I agree i agree and again i don't want anybody to think i'm fat shame anybody i'm fat as fuck it bothers me that i'm fat if you want to be fat if you want to overeat if you want to fucking do all that whatever knock yourself out I understand. Again, you guys got to understand. I know what it's like to be, you know, stagnant. I know what it's like to to lose control of 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 your eating habits. I know what it's like. I understand it so well, so well. Um, so don't think that's coming from a place of 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 hate or shame or anger. It's really a, a place of of love because I want people to be healthy. I want people to live their fullest potential. And 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 and, and like like Pooley says, you guys want to fuck hot people too, right? I mean, we all want to fuck hot people. That's just, <laughs> it's in us. We want to fuck hot people. So you know that helps. That helps too. So I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, <laughs> and if you're lucky, you get to experience it through their gains and losses. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. And 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 wherever you guys are at in your health career, you know, it's fine. It's just you know, you got to know that if, if you are continuing a lifestyle, that it's not going to work out so great in the end. Um, mm. Of course, people can die just by walking out their front door and a bird smashes into their eyeball and they die weird. But, it, you know, like if you continue this path, it will get worse. And that's what's happening to me. Like I am developing stomach issues. I'm developing different pains in my back and stuff because I let my my eating get out of control. I've let my 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 exercise get out of control. And, and this is what happens. And so I'm not happy with that. And that it makes me unhappy. And and so I know that that makes other people unhappy when they're going through it. Uh, I know I don't speak for every fat person. I'm sure there's fat people out there. It's like, you know, like Lizzo, who's like, woo. But I guarantee when she doesn't fit in that, in the plane seat very well, or when she has to bend over to tie her shoe and it's like, oh, you know, you know and, uh, another, another point might be that, uh, I know a lot of people have uh, d depression and whatnot, uh, especially, especially after the pandy. Mm -hmm. um, so we might not have a lot of self-love, right. but uh, you can find motivation by improving your body, therefore your longevity in life mm -hmm. for someone else. Do yeah. it for somebody else. Absolutely. Do it for your parents. Be there longer for your kids or yeah. your brother or your friends. Yeah. Uh, make it about them and not about you because you might hate yourself right now. So. Yeah, no, I, you're absolutely right. Because um, when I quit drinking alcohol, I did it for my wife. Uh, she was, go. she was like, go. she was like, it's either me or it's either this or that. And I chose, I chose this, you know, and, and uh, that was the best thing. And then after a while, it became for me. You know, like after, yeah. after a mo like when I lost weight, that was all me. And that was all motivation I had to find within myself. I'll tell you what motivates a young man is going out to Southern California, living three blocks from the beach and having girls. I, I like girls uh, or women uh, having women walking around scantily uh, 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 dressed and you say hi and they're like, oh, <laughs> like mm -hmm. Pooley was saying when oh, they, uh, yeah. when the opposite roomy. Yes, exactly. They're like, oh, you're too skinny. I would never get with you. And which is fine. Right. Like you, women should choose how they want to choose. Yeah. Uh, but I do like this point when people talk about don't fat shame. It's like, OK, uh, to all the people who are saying don't fat shame, you know, if, if you if you can't look past someone's weight, then you're fat shaming because there's this idea that if you don't date someone because of their weight or their, you know, their, their race or, or, you know, which race is a different thing. But if you do it because they're weight or if they're uh, disabled or if they're all this or that, then you are then, um, um, you are then a bigot or, or a horrible person. And to that, I say, okay, to all the people who think that way, go out and, and fuck yourself a fat guy then, or, or fat person then. Okay. Go, go fuck all the fat people then. Okay. Because there is a such thing as, as, as attraction. There is a such thing that this is a reality of life. It, the, the reality was that pool was too skinny and no girl wanted to fuck him. The reality was I was too fat and no girl wanted to fuck me. And I wanted to fuck. Okay, that's what I, I want to fuck. And this is what, so I, I took it upon myself to fucking get out there and huff and puff up those goddamn hills and fucking, and lose the weight. And guess what? Fucking, you know, I was fucking. Uh, when was my dinner stream? <laughs> but man, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I enjoyed your dinner stream. But manners, if you are not rude to them, they have no right to be rude to you. Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what that, maybe you're talking to someone, the black pork. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, high freaking fire. Oh, I see. You're talking to Ziggy. <clears throat> 128 days sober. Fuck yeah, Jesse. Congratulations, my friend. I'm so fucking happy go. for you, man. Uh, have you ever, uh, did you ever do sober stuff? Are you a sober person? Are you straight edge? Nah, man. I, uh, I'm too, uh, too poor to, to be a junkie. Like, <laughs> if, if I was if I was insanely rich, man, I'd be eating mushrooms and doing DMT probably right about now. Uh, <laughs> but again, hey, man, when you when you po and you can't afford the O and the R, you know that's you gotta you gotta watch yourself. But yeah, yeah, so, I, I really can't afford the luxury of doing any. You, you know. you've never had any problems. Oh, as an addict? Yeah. 
Oh no, I, I am an I definitely am an addict. I come from a line of alcoholics, but mm-hmm. I just never I never became an alcoholic. I got addicted to other things like, you know, doing weird fitness endeavors and and you know, putting my body through pain and you know mm-hmm. and, and but a music became addicted to addicted to other things but yeah mm-hmm. between the ocd and the and the uh, addictive personality man i got i go 90 to nothing f- from when i wake up to go, i go to sleep man. that's crazy <laughs> is it hard for you to go to sleep no because i go to sleep when i'm tired i see so so like and that could be at any moment at any time of the night or do you, you know what you a- i've trained myself to it's usually around 5 a.m oh wow Jesus. Yeah, four or five a.m. And that's so it. Monday. I wake up at uh, two p.m. Start teaching at three. Get home from the school at eight thirty. Start streaming at nine thirty p.m. And then stream until four a.m. Maybe or something like that. And then, uh, yeah. That that just just by the way that you know you're you're sort of describing yourself. Sometimes you know when people's minds are a little active, your body's overactive. Sometimes uh, they have a hard time falling asleep and, and rough. Oh, yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But I just, I don't, I used to try to, man, go, going to sleep when you're not tired is like trying to be who you're not. Going to, wait, say that again? Going to sleep, trying to go to sleep when you're not tired is like being someone you are not. Ah, yes, I, absolutely. Um, that that just doesn't work for me either. I'm not I'm not great at uh, I'm not great at that either. It's like I'll just lay there, or, or this is a fun thing that popped up over the pandemic. I just wake up at like three a.m. and I can't go back to sleep, so I'll just start working, and then uh, that then the day is here, and by the time you know, it's like noon, and people want your attention, and then you want to go back to bed. <laughs> yes, you're like, nope, you keep going. That was one really interesting thing that popped up during the pandemic was does I does I just, just wake up. I'll just wake up now. I'll just I'm up. I you want to sleep. How long do you sleep? I try to sleep. I, I mean, I, I I'm usually try to go to bed around 10, 11 or 12 in between there. And I'm usually up by like six or seven. Uh, and Raina streams in the morning. I mod for her. So I'm up when rain is up. So it's just straight up. One, twelve, one, two, three, four. So it's not very, so so not great, but but the problem is that I'll wake up in the middle of the night and like to go pee or something, which sucks. Uh, and and then and then I won't be able to go back to sleep, or yeah. or or I'll just be awake, or I'll just my eyes will pop open and I will be fully awake, like like you know, like when you wake up and you're groggy and you're like, oh god, you know, it's time to go to work or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. No, it's like I wake up and I'm fully awake. I'm like, hey, let's go to the gym. And which oh my God. which I would do. I would wake up at like I would wake up at three and be like, fuck, I guess I'll work until five so I can go to the gym. <laughs> do you dream? Do you remember your dreams? No, I smoke too much weed for all that. I don't uh, I don't care for the dreams. Um, well, uh, I, I don't mind dreams because I'm not afraid of them or anything. It's just that when I dream, I dream so like my dreams are movies. Like I fucking like it, like Pretty rain ahead. I'm sorry. They're long. Yeah, it's like one big storyline, you know, and and it's just intense, and there's twists and turns, and it's fucking like it's it's insanity. My my wife has the same issue. Like she she dreams really intensely, and uh, but but now she's trying to get into her dreams because she's trying to do some light work. Uh, me, I'm just like fuck those. I don't need that. I'm out. What, what about you? Are you someone who pays attention to your dreams? Yeah, man, I I, ha- I have no choice. My dreams are very vivid. Yeah, almost every like, well, yeah, literally every fucking night, and they're just vivid as fuck. And most of them are lucid. And I at some point, you know, realize that I'm dreaming. And um, yeah, there's re- there it's repetitive. Uh, there's different places that I like can go to in my dreams. It's like a different man. It makes me question. I, my dreams are so vivid. I get them mixed up with reality. I wake up and I'll think like, man. I have a memory, but I can't remember if that was part of this reality or the dream world, man. Whoa. I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's crazy. So, like, what? So, so your your dreams are just just these vivid action movies or whatever the situation. I mean, that's how it is for me. That's why I don't mind smoking weed and fucking turning that aspect off. Are you someone who reads into dreams? Are you someone who like analyzes your dreams and looks into it a little deeper? Then, Not too much. Mm-hmm. I don't read any literature on how to. I don't. I haven't developed the skill of dream yeah. analysis. Yeah. So, 
I mean, I, I sit there and I, you know, of course, like anybody would be like, I wonder why I dreamed that, but that's about as far as I get with the, mm -hmm. with the dream analysis. Part of me doesn't want to know. You know? <laughs> it's like, I don't, you know, don't tell me how fucked up I am. Just let me reach the end. <laughs> it's like, I already got a good idea of how fucked I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> good idea of it. Yeah. You know, I think on some level, that's how I'm feeling too. Is it's like, I, I kind of just don't want to know that much. And then again, it's not that I am scared of my dream. It's just, I don't, I just don't need that. I guess any, anyone experienced deja vu, I experienced it and it's from my own dreams. Oh, Jesus. It's awesome. I don't know. Do you experience deja vu? Yeah. Deja vu. I mean, every now and again maybe twice a month or something like that but it's yeah that's that's crazy man. that's some, like other dimensions shit it's so funny like people have deja vu and then the whole science community is just like oh they just like don't want to recognize how crazy it is mm -hmm. you know it's like we just kind of just do away with that uh let's go to let's go to focus on going to mars yeah you know, it's like yeah. Wait, 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 wait. everybody has deja vu and you motherfuckers can't even give us an inkling on what it is that deja vu it, i mean could be you know like a working definition right right it's ridiculous what science turns a, a, an eye to as far as spending time figuring it out mm -hmm. yeah or at well, least say like hey we don't we can't we we don't know we can't do it we <laughs> yeah no for sure yeah they just have these running theories and and, and ideas but i mean like the thing about science is that it's like uh you know at some point they're just like it's magic <laughs> you know like it's magic we don't know no. like the big bang theory or like when you break down an atom and you get down to the quarks and you get down to the quasar or whatever the fuck it is, like it gets down so small, it gets to a point where we're just like, we just don't even know how it's sustaining itself. We don't know yeah. how these these atoms and these molecules are popping in and out of existence. Like we don't know why that happens. Like yeah. at some point, it's just like magic. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like... <laughs> I tell my students, I tell my students a fun, uh, a riddle that I'll tell you. Uh, it has to do with music, actually. Uh, it's a, it has to do with the harmonic series for anybody that has a, a vague idea of what that is or has heard of that. Yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe we'll talk about that later. But sure. uh, anyway, here's the riddle. We're standing in a room. I'm standing in a room. I have my hand on a wall and I'm trying to get to the other wall. It's right there. I walk over and I touch the wall. Nothing too spectacular yet. But let's think about it. What, uh, well, let's go back to the other wall. I have my hand on there. Before I get to that wall, I have to cross the halfway point, yeah? Yes. Okay. But before I cross the halfway point, I have to cross the halfway point of the halfway. Mm -hmm. But before that, I have to cross the halfway of the halfway of the halfway. Oof. Now, we can keep doing that forever. Yeah. So how do we move? We just do. It's an old paradox called Zeno's paradox. This is a, like a, a guy around the same time as Pythagoras mm -hmm. or Pythagorean. Remember the old Pythagorean? I do. A squares something B. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Um, uh, a squared yeah, yeah, yeah. B so squared it, equals C squared. Is that it? There you go. Hallelujah. Hey. Um, praise, praise God. <laughs> now, um, yeah, but but that's a that's a, a fun rule that has to that we really don't understand quite yet. Especially, I mean, you start talking about infinity, mathematicians and people are just like. Well, uh, I don't know, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's like so so is there a is there an idea of an answer for that riddle? Yes, it's called calculus. The whole <laughs> idea is calculus. It's the idea of calculus. Mm -hmm. Helen like a limit, right? Like like a limit that never reaches zero but is always approaching it. Mhm. Mm yeah. This is like logarithms and algorithms and whatnot. Yeah. Gotcha. Wow. I love wow. people. I love the word algorithm these days, man, because I stop people when they say algorithm and I say, hey, tell me what an algorithm is. And nobody, nobody can give me a working definition. It's crazy. Maybe I just live a bunch of, a, a bunk, a, a, amongst a bunch of cavemen and women here. I believe cave so. People. What's your um, definition? Of an algorithm? Yes. It's like something that can, uh, exponentially get greater it's like exponential growth just do, 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 uh, uh, going up towards toward infinity uh by mag order of magnitudes and logarithms are the reverse so you're going down towards zero reverse by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 by 10 and then now the, how people use that i have no fucking idea like how they use that to a tie to different like I, I, god help you but that that's <laughs> but see that that's why i don't go around talking about algorithms because 
I know next to dick about it. Like <laughs> everybody else, but everybody else is like, oh yeah, the algorithm of the, the, the it's the it's the Google the Facebook algorithm, honey. It's the uh, you know, oh your algorithm showing. <laughs> you don't even know. You know that meme. Motherfuckers don't even know the definition. Go yeah. educate yourselves. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, now he's getting preachy. Now he's getting preachy. That's yeah. what well, I wanted to see. I want to get the mic out here. <laughs> I wanted to see preachy pooly. Oh, uh, really? You know what another one of my phrases is? Is please. it is what it is. Oh, God. I hate that. Phrase. Listen to this one here. Okay. So <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah. You might as well have said the sun is the sun. You've literally, <laughs> you've literally said, let me get this microphone. You've literally said nothing about reality. Congratulations. Now, in logic, we have a term for this. It's called tautology, tautological <laughs> sentences that say the same thing. They say, I is I, I am me. Me is, that means dick all about anything. So when someone says that it is what it is in the sentence, they've given up on language and they can't take the conversation any further. Right. GG. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, you know I, what? I, it is what it is. It is what it is and it isn't <laughs> what it's not. I love it. I love it. Anyway, let them know. Uh, oh, look at Papa Sweet over here flexing his uh, philosophy fucking knowledge. I believe at least Zeno was post-Socratic, right? <laughs> Whatever, Papa Sweet. We all know you're smart. Sm settle down. Get I don't know. I read wallet. about him back in 2005. Yeah, yeah. I know he's around some part of Pythagorean, Pythaga, Pythaga, who gives a fuck? Yeah. You got to say that word quick or it sounds really big bigoted. Yeah, it does. Yeah. God, go ahead. Damn next it. question. <laughs> <laughs> next question. Go. <laughs> I just love saying next question in mid sentence. I do this with my friends all the time because it's just it gets such a weird reaction and it's a it's a it's an instant like turning point or a keyframe that those that yeah. edit videos. It's a different keyframe. Like you're just like, okay, next question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Next question. <laughs> Ask me anything. Go ahead. I'm right here. I'm at the foot of Gibraltar. You're the hammer, I'm the nail. I'd love to get smacked. <laughs> um well it, I, I I I find it fascinating that uh that you're that that you teach music but yet you're writing script were you were did you train for script like i know you said you went to no. college so that's just negative i was okay so check this out i was on not to cut you off forgive me um i was on omegle and i ran into some random guy who was a audio engineer nerd and he told me of the possibility that people can make a midi guitar just through a signal alone and frequency and so that began i sat there and i was like what if I could do that shit? And I just started to, I didn't know anything about anything until two years ago. Wow. About so, any of this. So, so you just got obsessed on that and just went for it. I taught myself. Yeah. 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 I taught myself. Uh, I've never taken a guitar lesson. I've never like, I I'm big on self teaching and relying upon my own skill and talent. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I can often teach myself shit a lot quicker than I could if I was just like going to a class or learning from something. It's like YouTube videos. Now, fuck this. Just let me think about it and I'll, <laughs> I'll figure this shit out. So, yeah, I realized what uh, what different uh, programs used what kind of language. And it happened to be .lua. It's an old, old uh, language um, from like 2002 or something like that. And, um, and that. and And here's the thing. I know what I need to do how to do that but then i know dick all about anything else so if you're asking like how many stacks and what to take for a line and then how do you do this and then the quadratic like listen i don't know anything about that all i was trying to do was take a logarithm and put it to an expressivity that way it could decay more like a natural decay because our breaths happen to be very similar to a logarithm decay and again logarithms being a reverse think about powers of 10 going down towards zero Instead of like exponentially up, mm -hmm. you're going in reverse. That's right. what we're talking about is as far as this is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's that's all I did. And that's all I know about it. So I mean, uh, teach I, what I teach myself what I need to do and then move on to the next thing. I'm, I'm sort of like in my own head, I'm just sort of seeing that as like sort of controlling, like like messing with like a synthesizer where you're messing with like the attack and 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 then and, and the other stuff. God, that. Yeah. Yeah. I only took 10 yeah, milligrams. Think, that thing's fucking my whole head up. That's uh, right. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. We're what? here. We're here. Woo! <laughs> Let's get it, baby. That's right. <laughs> um, well, it, it, I mean, it's fascinating to me because it's like I, I know nothing about that. So you could have just told me. Any, I mean, all of that could have just been blah, blah. You could have just made all that I'm a up. phony. These glasses aren't even real. <laughs> Are they really? Are they not real? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm a... I, 
Hello, I'm TC underscore pool. <laughs> You're on fake musician. <laughs> and the camera crew comes through. Can you imagine? It's like it's like Chris Hansen. It's like okay, Mike, I'm going to need to have you sit. Have to have to sit, you sit right here. Um, you uh, you claim to be a musician, but you yet, <laughs> but yeah, did you, you did bring I enough did. cookies for everyone, Mike? <laughs> What were you going to do with that bottle of wine, Pooley? Um, anyways, oh, thank you God, for that yeah. shout out. Oh, complete buddy. fraud. All right, go ahead. Next question. That that was that whole right. that whole thing was amazing. I just want you to know that. <laughs> I love you. I love you all. This is so fun. Uh, I'm not as smart as you think because Zeno Zeno is actually pre-Socratic and came before the Hellenistic age. Oh, sh shut the fuck up. Exactly. Papa. That's what, exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. I was just about to say that. Right. God, Pop. You know what, Papa uh, Sweet, you're fucked. So, look at this. Canceled. Dang, man. Yep, that's right. what you get. Canceled. Canceled as fuck. Sorry, man. It's what happens when you come around here fucking dropping some faulty ass knowledge. What the fuck? Get back to drywall. Oh, bum. before too much time gets away, I want to mention one more thing about the stream real quick. Please. I hate to take a left turn, but I really want to mention this. Please. Another thing that makes my stream really, really unique, and I'm big on, of course, like any musician, is self-promotion. And... uh. Uh, on top of all this next level music shit that I'm doing here, which no one else is doing on Twitch, go find them and tell me about them because I'd love to talk to them yeah. so we can maybe share ideas. But um, is I uh, give my chat a chance to interact with the stream and control a bunch of the visuals mm. and uh, uh, doing a bunch of dances. You can find a list of these commands in the Discord. You can change the scenes. Again, this is the TC Falcon. It has many different rooms. I'm trying to create, like if I can break the wall real quick, I'm trying to create a little mini universe, like a video game through OBS, through a bunch of cheeky commands and a bunch of nerdy configuring shit. So like, uh, come check that out sometime. It's really, really kind of, uh, I think makes me stand out compared to other musician streamers. I agree. I agree. I, I think a cool, uh, cool cat that you might link up with or might be interested in maybe talk to uh, a cat named Eggly Burtz. He uh, he designed his own. Um, he plays piano and he designed and, and wrote his own um, lighting um, lighting. So like every time he plays the piano, there's like these uh, these lights that that. Um, bounce off it and actually now you can actually get it in the in the stream labs i think you can get it as an overlay now a key site thank you yes it's that's cool that's cool so he 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 invented his own thing and uh nice. it, it's he's actually really awesome and he plays beautifully his name is eggly birds he's a he's a british dude but he <laughs> but he's like he's like uh never mind i'm not gonna do that key site is a piano program on steam yes and i think eggly birds did something with that yes yeah there's tons of stuff i'm like i'm, I'm and i'm again i have enough time in my life now to or to dedicate to improving this so i'm constantly trying to add on to this little mini universe i'm creating and giving the chat a lot more interaction than they're used to on uh on other uh, on other streamers platforms did you ever have or, a time when you, did was there ever a time when you didn't have any time to do this no on, when i started i had just gone through a bad breakup and i was mm -hmm. like you know what Fuck this. Let's go, baby. Woo! <laughs> and I Ric Flared my way onto Twitch and I started kicking Woo! ass. And I have it. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter, baby. If you're from Richmond, Virginia, Charlottesville, North Carolina, daddy. Ooh, the nature boy. Sorry, I'm working on my. I only do impressions from the 1970s uh, wrestlers. <laughs> Love it, baby. Look at it. Yeah, Look at it. you. The, the 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 funny thing about him is now he's canceled. Ric Flair's been canceled, so sure, sure. Sorry, guys. Ric Flair stayed. I don't care what he did. That that's that's me. I love fucking the idea of Ric Flair. I love the idea of fucking Ric Flair. No. Um, okay. Yes, he created the compliments. Kuya. Yeah, of course. Ziggy would know. Ziggy's like everybody's fucking mod. So. Hey, uh, Ziggy. What's up? Yeah, Ziggy's everywhere. How you doing, Ziggy? <laughs> Yeah, Kuya is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love My Kuya. man Kuya Sai. I met him. Him and I started around the same time. Oh, really. cool! Yeah. Like literally the same yeah. week. <laughs> hey, TZ. Uh, no. Yeah. The, the okay. So um, you know, before you, we are we are reaching the end, and we have we've taken so much of your time, and I know that you 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 need your time to to work out and to to do music and I've got to go chop down a tree, smoke a cigar. <laughs> some eagles are gonna fly overhead. Come <laughs> and I think like some like just like a banner of smoke with the American flag is going to go over my head or something like that. But yes, go ahead. Go ahead. 
<laughs> I was just wondering, what, do you, would you mind uh, showing us a little bit of what you do on your stream? Uh, maybe a little performance? Yeah, sure, sure. We'll do a, a little segment of how to build stuff live. Another okay. thing uh, that, that is uh, unique to what I'm doing is I'm not using any click tracks or drum machines or anything like that. Uh, shout out and God bless all the DJs, but I am not a DJ. I'm not spinning anything that's pre-recorded. This all comes from these fingertips Dang. and this crazy ass mind of mine. So it's all from skill and not uh, not any kind of digital selection there. But God bless those people. I'm not hating on them. No. If they feel bad for what I just said, become a musician. All right. Uh, and uh, once better. again, uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, as we, Before we make this, it's been nice chatting with everybody. Um, keep in mind, the Zoom audio is not going to be as pristine. I highly suggest going listening to these either through Bandcamp and purchase, purchasing a song for a dollar. You can get the lossless audio, which is going to be what I hear out here. Even through Twitch, you guys hear a great quality on my stream when I'm streaming right now, or when I'm streaming on my channel. It sounds great, right? But Flack the file or wave that kind of file is going to sound even better so it, it might sound not as pristine through zoom but here we are let's do something this is the world we live in folks i'm a fraud <laughs> i just run off stream i just i just like exit like obs <laughs> yeah. 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 oh you son of a bitch <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> making stuff up. I don't know what I'm doing here. Was awesome. What the hell are we doing here? So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sample. I was just like, as soon as I heard, it, I was like, oh no, we're we're fucking something went wrong, and now like we can hear no, each other. And nothing. See, that's the thing. Going wrong is a mindset. In my stream, nothing goes wrong, baby. When I'm making that music, <laughs> daddy, ain't nothing going wrong. Think about it. You brought me in with dead bodies and people getting ran over and fucking squished to death. <laughs> then you give me the, <laughs> and I make it into a diamond, baby. Let's go. Next question. An Ozark diamond. I love you. Like, Ozark <laughs> diamond. I love you. So what you were hearing, by the way, again, was a talk box effect. But notice I don't use a hose like yes. Peter Frampton or uh, I think California Tupac and Dr. Dre. Zapping Roger. Um, 
uh using uh, using my guitar so that's sort of what i was doing when i was singing it's not just auto it's not an auto-tune thing you have to play the notes that you want to have sung if that makes sense it does it does so when you're doing the vo- uh, the uh, vocoder part or i'm sorry the talk box part um you are you are you you're you're just talking into your your breathy thingy Negative, negative. The breath controller has nothing to do with that, actually. Oh, That's my MXL mic is a very hot microphone, so I can stand back here and it gets it. So if I go like this, and if, if I, I go, go like this, this see, I'm still... My voice, and then there's that. So That's so rad, dude. Dude, like... It's it, polyphonic, so you can play chords with it, like... Uh, dope isn't it that is fucking cool man that is so cool i i think you're right man i think like we've, we've talked to a lot of streamers on here especially like improv um artists and loop artists and stuff and like you do bring something different that i haven't seen in another stream so uh Thank i you. i yeah. think y'all need to go over there and give tc some love and and and, and some appreciation and and some and, and some and some okay see i'm glad that i edited myself there i was gonna say something stupid but i didn't <laughs> Everyone congratulate me. Good job, good job, good job. Hey, that, that filter's still in there. It is it's happening. Still, it's hanging on. It's hanging on. Buy a thread. Buy a thread, my oh, friend. God. TC Pool, is is there anything else you want to add? Is there anything oh, – cancel. <laughs> is there anything that you want to – is there anything you want uh, people to go check out? Uh, what? Tell us. What, parting words, what is it? All of my uh, names on all socials are the same, TC underscore Pool. Uh, with an E on the end. I have a uh, lo-fi radio station on YouTube that plays my tunes nonstop. Think about Chilled Cow or Lo-Fi Girl if you've listened to this type of music. Mm-hmm. It's all my music, me playing all the instruments. I recorded all those lo-fi albums here on my uh, Twitch, and uh, that plays endlessly. Uh, with the visual that you get to see, because it's a YouTube video that streams endlessly, um, I got together with Shy Fox. She's an artist here on Twitch who also has a YouTube channel that she does emotes and various digital art and the uh, YouTube radio station uh, scene is her time-lapse art, so you can watch uh, some art while you listen to some tunes, or if you just want to study and put that shit on there uh, and, and study as well. I also make and have a few uh, sleeping, like, low, like the piano and rain sounds for eight hours with a black screen on YouTube, so if you want to throw that on while you're falling asleep, it helps me get closer to my YouTube monetization, which I'm working ever so hard for. I'm working harder than any other streamer that i know and i love what i'm doing we're having a good time here uh one of the things i get a lot of people saying is that it's motivating to uh, to see me working so hard and doing this buck wild shit and keep on keeping on uh day after day after day and so if i can inspire anybody that's awesome too so yeah check all that shit out 14 albums live everywhere mike you're awesome chat i love you (laughs) um I, I had another question about something because because what you said, but um, I'm I, chilling. I, Get it. Well, I, I'm just, save it for part two. If you'll have if you'll have me back on, we can. I would we can, love we can to have, have you two. back on. Of course, I would love to have you back on, Pooley. I mean, I, I think your energy is great because uh, I think it's fitting for this this particular stream. Because <laughs> yeah. honestly, don't put me on NPR, baby. <laughs> I'll get kicked off NPR. Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm TC Pool. Uh, welcome to the TC Falcon. I'm. Oh, kill that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know you you know that 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 type of talking that NPR this very specific kind of talking is now actually becoming a part of the milieu of the 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 of, of, of people's language. Uh, oh it's very God. interesting. To, uh, or upspeak or upspeak. It's like sure, yeah. I kind of think that maybe we should circle back and maybe link up next month and talk about it then. I think we should unpack this. Um, <laughs> if you'd like for me to unpack this for you. Apparently everybody's traveling now. Everybody's got luggage with them. Why the fuck does everybody want to unpack <laughs> everything now? Save the fucking unpacking for when you get home. Put your dirty ass panties, your dirty ass socks in the washing machine and wash them like a regular person. Don't, I want to unpack this now. Oh, and don't get me started on the Twitch. Twitch is starting to have, I've noticed this, a kind of Twitch speak about it. Check this out. Hey, thank you for the raid. What was your favorite point of your stream? Thank you for bringing your family and your chat. Y'all have all heard that shit. Look at him. Look at him. Bite. Mike's biting his teeth. Mike can't even. Mike can't. 
<laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. I am not about that shit. Let me talk about me and not stop talking about shit about so many people because it's like almost everybody. But uh, I, I keep it real, okay? I, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't have, real. I'm filterless. I can be off-putting to a lot of people and I understand that because I have a very big personality. I talk a lot and uh, I'm very opinionated, but you know, I'm not gonna give you that fake shit. That's one thing you're not gonna get here on the TC Falcon is, hey, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, I, I've Let's talked. To, again. I've talked to people about this. Honestly, I've talked to people about how they. Uh... You know, there is this sort of let's be happy all the time, no matter what sort of mentality. It's like positive vibes. I don't, and and look, I get it. And and what I've noticed is that a lot of people come to Twitch to sort of unwind, sort of chill. You know, there's a lot of chilling going on. There's a lot of you know, there's a lot of mental health going on here. There's a lot, you know, the the internet's for lonely people. I mean, like, there's a lot going on on this platform. So yeah, I get that you know you're you're trying to be successful, and so you're trying to appeal to your audience. But I mean, that's just not me, man. Like, I can't just be like, hey guys, what's going on? What are you doing? This is not do me. And, uh, you know, that's probably, you know, that's probably why we haven't grown very much in over a year and a half, <laughs> because I don't But then again, <laughs> but then again, Mike, maybe, maybe think um, and sort of redefine how you define success. Oh, yeah. In yeah. your life, right? For me being successful, I'm already successful. Mm -hmm. One thing that irks me is when people come through my chat and be like, man, I, I hope you get there someday. Keep working. And I'm like... I I'm paying my bills through this motherfucker. People buy my discography. Yeah. People buy my discography. Am I even saying that word right? Yeah. But people buy that shit. Look yeah. at them, y'all. So, uh, yeah, um, I, I don't try to have that mindset of like, I want to blow up. This is the night I'm going to get fucking yeah. blow, blow up. So it's like, I'm just trying to be me. That's one thing streaming has allowed me to be, honestly, man, if I can break the wall again, is to be more me than I've ever been. Yeah. Just to be like, here I am. I'm streaming anybody from my personal life, from my past. Anybody all over the world can come and watch me, and this is who I am. Can you imagine being somebody else on stream? That'd be exhausting, going into like a, a, a an identity or a character. Yeah, and, <sighs> and, and for some people, though, that, that works. I mean, for some streamers, that's like a really big part of it is this character that they're playing. And, and so, therefore, you sort of are trapped in that character, and there's no really days off from that character, which I don't see as benefiting anybody but but again you know that works for some people and and you know. yeah not people streaming every night like me man. they would exhaust me dude. yeah if yeah I was like could... a monday wednesday friday streamer i could slip into like uh uh a uh you know a, a character a, a lizard man or who i don't know right. who the fuck i would be what kind of what kind of character would i be a lizard yeah a lizard that'd lizard be cool man. like illuminati shit <laughs> um but yeah 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 i i gotta be me i've gotta be me no, for I, better or worse. No, for I better. <laughs> a lot of times worse. Yeah, and, and and to sort of speak on what you're saying about you know looking at success differently, I I absolutely agree with you, and I think that's where a lot of people go wrong is that. They, Sorry about that. No, no worries. Is that they put so much pressure on what they think or what external uh, external influences think is success is. Yeah. And, um, people let other people define it for mm -hmm. them. Yes. They're, they're, in their in their very sentences, it's subtly defined. Like, hey man, I hope you get there one day. Mm -hmm. The implication of you are not there yet right. is embedded in that sentence, and people don't understand it. Like, right. I don't. <laughs> It's like when people try to be nice, but they end up insulting you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Like it's that whole totally. like, uh, so when did you stop beating your wife? <laughs> like, whoa, what? Oh, huh? What? Wait, uh, what? <sighs> like a trap, you know? Yeah. You have to be wary. Our words define our reality. Yeah. And you have to be wary of the reality you paint yourself. Absolutely. And you know what's scary is that we're redefining words right now as a, as a culture, as a society, we're redefining. I mean, we're redefining what a vaccine, a definition of what a vaccine is. Not trying to go down that path, but we are redefining words. We're redefining sex and, and gender, you know, like and, and I'm not going down that path. I'm just saying we are redefining a lot of things right now, culturally and socially. So it, 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 oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know where that's going. But, you know, we're here and we're doing it. <laughs> I know where I'm going, and that's to the top, baby. Top <laughs> turnbuckle lifestyles. Let me tell you again. Hell in a cell. False count anywhere. DDT. Iron Man match. Let's go. <laughs> Let them know, Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Oh, my God. TC Pool, everybody. Give him a round of a hand. Round of a hand. <laughs> yes. And give me a round of a hand, too. God damn it. I'll take both. Give him a 
Oh my god, I ruined all of that. <laughs> DC Pool, my friend, you have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you coming on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on, right on. And and uh, you be well, my friend, and, and yeah. I appreciate your openness. And yes, let's do this again. I would love to have you back on, TZ. Let's get it, baby. Uh, we'll go more in depth on these crazy topics. I love it. Let's I'm get down. Buck wild. No, I'm down. And, and, and like and the other thing is like when I when I was I, I know I just said goodbye, but but like when I was saying I was just joking about my Twitch stream growth. Uh, I, that doesn't bother me that like I know that it's going to be hard to get people on here to like listen to what I'm saying and to get on board with it. I, I'm very I say a lot of crazy shit. But the other thing that's weird about it is that my audio end is going crazy. Like right, like mm. I jumped from fucking I'm not gloating. I'm not fucking bragging. I'm actually in disbelief. But I jumped from like 4000 listeners a week at the beginning of the year to 30,000 listeners a week, 100,000 listeners a month. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. what? What the fuck is that? And it's all because of you guys. It's all because of chat. It's all because of Twitch. Like, Twitch, I mean, because I've been doing the podcast for six, seven years now. And podcast, and, and Twitch, is. this is the podcast. Like, this live stream is the fucking podcast. And this has taken the, the fucking show to the next level. Even though that people are experiencing it, they're not experiencing it live. They're not a part of the chat. They hear me talking to the chat. They hear me talking to all these different people. And, and, and people are still on board. So... I don't give a yeah. fuck. Like, that's fine. I, people smell that, man. People can sense authenticity, and that's what you are. I, I, I think that I <laughs> think you. different, man. I think the tides are going to turn, and they're going to be able to sense the authentic people that aren't like, hey, welcome to this show, and all this other shit. Yeah. Like, God God bless you if you if, for people that do that. But, man, I'm telling you, you got something good going here. People can smell that authenticity. Oh. I'm telling you, you got it going. Well, ditto, man. I mean, I, I love what you're doing, too, man. Like, I, I love that you are in, like, that you're in it so fucking deep that you can't even see anything else i fucking yeah, i love that i fucking love that because it's like yeah. I, I i honestly wish that i could be in that mindset I, I and you can't i know i can but it's like there's there's other factors involved and of course that sounds like excuses but i no, have a life life, I have hey, life is a motherfucker that's, i have a that's son who likes to kick me in the balls any chance he gets so you know praise Damn. the mix shut the fuck up with the Fucking touch me. <laughs> thank you praise the mexicans <laughs> i agree Calm down. All right. TC Pool, again, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Hey, we're going to give him one more. Give him a round of applause, everybody. I'll see you soon, my friend. I will be in touch very shortly. Peace. Again, for the opportunity. Peace. We'll talk soon. <laughs> Moving Dutchman. Moving Dutchman with the, the off putting Mexican jokes. Listen, I think it's hilarious. I don't know if I, I honestly don't know if you could go into other people's streams and talk like that. Not that I'm saying to change who you are, moving Dutchman. I'm just saying I I I think it's hilarious. And I, I but I think I think it's something that you couldn't do anywhere else. That's right, folks. Only here can you be semi-racist. <laughs> Only on WSEG TV. <sighs> okay, so um, I got a I got a pee, of course, and um, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to determine. I got I'm trying to think if I should. Um, I don't know. Okay. Well, there you go. Here I am just, just making decisions like this. Uh, anyways, what we're going to call it a day, I think. Um, again, everybody go and fucking follow TC Pool. I'm sorry I'm all, like, wishy-washy. It's, it's just that I'm high now. <laughs> I'm 